So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to ninth tutorial in C programming. And in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to see how you can print um, strings, characters, everything inside a printf statement. Now what happens a lot of times is you won't really have static mess messages like these, but a lot of times you need to include pieces of your code itself in the log right so for example if i have a variable say pi and i have set it to three because why the hell not i want to print pi here pi equal to whatever so how do i do it well in c in other programming languages you might have come from you would have seen something like this some syntax like this using a plus to concatenate strings and other stuff but in c it's a, di a little different what C does is that it tells you, hey, no matter what you do, the printf would only accept a single first argument as string, no matter what you do. However, what you can do is you can format this string to have certain placeholders, have certain values which needs to be filled later on. So what we can do is we can say something like a placeholder. Now this placeholder is a place where this value would be replaced by whatever we pass in next now how does that work is that for example if i say there are five placeholders here and if i pass in one two three four five and maybe like not even one two three four five something like x like that what c would do is it would put it in the place of every placeholder so one two x four five right like this and then finally it will take this message and print it to the console so what happens now is that for these particular placeholders c now actually needs to know what each placeholder represents right makes sense because that's how you're going to parse it and print it so we need to say to see that hey my first argument is an integer is a digit how do i do that how do I tell C that a digit should come here? For that, it's a special string formatting syntax, a percentage sign, and a D. Whenever C finds this syntax in a printf statement as the first argument, it will look for further arguments in your call, right? So this percentage D would directly map to the single one. For the next, I want to say, hey, we have another dump another digit another number for us so i'm gonna have percentage d again and let's just make it 5.5 .5. for the third one we do not really have a digit but a character so how do we do that i'm gonna write percentage c in this case percentage c is for characters then again percentage d and then finally we do not have a digit we have a float if you remember from the variable section now floats are handled a little different, the decimal points, although they are numbers, but you have to print them using percentage %f, right? So once you get that in place, now you can go ahead and run your tutorial 9.c using GCC and run the a.out file. And you can see nicely that pi is equal to 1 to x for 5.5000. This is because of the precision um, in C do not really have to worry about this right now so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video how the string formatting in c works and that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video